Sun. Once upon a time, there lived an old woman in the deepest part of a forest. But she wasn't happy at all because she was getting old. She always complained about it. God, why? Why did I get old? Look at my face. It's all wrinkly. And my hands. Everyone used to be amazed at how beautiful my hands were. Oh, I had a small waist. Now I'm hunched over and I'm in constant pain. I would do anything, anything to be young again. The old woman kept repeating this. I would do anything, anything to be young again. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and lightning struck. A witch appeared out of the lightning. So you want to be young again? Yes, yes, I want it badly. And would you do anything for it? Yes, I'll do anything. I will make you young again, but on one condition. What? Let me do it right now. I will give you back your youth, but you have to bring me a well-fed child every month in return. The old woman was surprised by the odd request. Okay, I'll do it. The witch waved her magic wand and the old woman suddenly regained her youth. She was young and beautiful again, but now she was a witch too. Don't forget your promise or I will destroy you. The witch disappeared. The sun came out and the old woman was thrilled with her new appearance. But then she started to ponder. I'm in the middle of the forest. How am I going to attract children? No one ever comes by here. Let me think. How? How? Ah, oh, I've got it! She decided to make a house of cakes and sweets to attract children. She started preparations immediately. Before long, she built a house of cream on the roof, candy on the windows and cake on the walls. So she started catching children. But after a while, children stopped coming around her house. I haven't found any children this month. What am I going to do? I came across two little children in the woods, ma'am. I managed to bring them to the front of the house. They're eating cakes and candies. Hurry up. Well done! You did a great job! The witch immediately ran outside and found the children eating. Welcome, children! We, we were very hungry, so we started eating all the sweets from your house. Please, please forgive us! No worries! Bon appetit! If you don't have a place to stay, you can stay at my house. Thank you so much! My name is Hansel, and this is my sister Gretel. I was tired of being alone. Come on in. You must be cold. There's also hot chocolate inside. 
Hansel and Gretel were delighted. The young woman showed them to their beds and gave them hot chocolate. They fell into a peaceful sleep. Get up now! It's morning! The visit is over! Hansel, come here quickly! Get in that cage, quick! What is happening? Why did you lock me up? Hansel, I'm so scared. Stop whining. You're too skinny, Gretel. Quick to the kitchen. You will cook nutritious meals and then you and your brother will eat them. Gretel agreed against her will. She went into the kitchen and started cooking. Hansel kept some of the food in his pockets to avoid gaining weight. Gretel also threw her food in the trash without letting the witch see this. You're still so skinny! You'll eat more! Days passed and finally the day the witch would come for the children had arrived. It's time to send you to the witch queen. You'll cook well in the oven. <laughs> In fact, wait! I'll cook you this time to surprise the Witch Queen. <laughs> Gretel, throw more wood in the oven right away. Yes, ma'am. Gretel looked in the oven and the fire was ablaze. At that moment, she had an idea how to get rid of the witch. Ma'am, the fire is about to go out, but the oven door is stuck and I can't open it. I need your help. You incompetent girl! I'm coming! The witch bent down and opened the oven. The door's not stuck. You couldn't open it because you're too skinny and clumsy. Then she bent over to check the fire. Meanwhile, Gretel staggered backwards and pushed the witch into the furnace with all her might. Hansel, we're finally free! The witch won't come out anytime soon. Dear sister, you're such a smart girl. You managed to save us. We have to get out of here now, Hansel. But first, let's see what's in that room that she keeps locked. When Hansel and Gretel entered the room, they found a chest full of jewels and gold. Let's fill our pockets, Gretel, and take it to our father. After putting some gold in their pockets, they took the witch's map and went home. One day, Hansel and Gretel went to town to buy seeds to plant. On their way back, Gretel saw a toy store. Hansel, look at those beautiful toys. They are so pretty. Let's go inside and take a closer look. So they entered the toy store. Oh, it's a Pinocchio. And this must be Cinderella. Mmm, I would love to play with these Nutcracker soldiers. It looks empty inside. Is there no one in the shop? There's a room in the back. The owner could be there. When they entered the room, they met the old storekeeper. Uh, uh, hello, children. Can you get me a glass of water? Are you okay, sir? I'm a little cold. You look very sick. Is there no one looking after you? No, there's no one. I'm too old and I don't have much time. <coughs> Let's find you a doctor right away. A doctor cannot do anything for me. 
but I will do something for you. For us? You are good children, so I'll gift you a fairy tale book. A fairy tale book? We love it! But you have to use it very carefully. Using the book? I thought we were going to read it. The old toy maker explained that this wasn't a typical fairy tale like the others. Instead, it was a magic book. Wow! You mean a magic fairy tale book? This book draws the reader into a fairy tale world and makes him the hero of that adventure. So this book is a gateway to the world of fairy tales, correct? That's right. To get back, you must find the magic word hidden in the book and read it aloud. If you don't read the magic word before the sun goes down, you won't be able to come back from that fairy tale. To be honest, I don't want to be stuck in a fairy tale forever. The toy maker also gave Hansel and Gretel a small crystal ball. Use this crystal ball if you get into trouble. It's magic. It'll work for you. Thus, Hansel and Gretel took the book and left the old toy maker's store. Wow! How about that? Being the hero in a fairy tale! What if we can't find the magic word and read it before sundown? There's only one way to find out! What if the toy maker just played a prank on us? Let's open the book and take a look, Gretel! Blackbeard the Pirate! When Hansel and Gretel read the name of the fairy tale, they were suddenly transported elsewhere. Wow! Where are we? The land of pirates! It must be that one-eyed Blackbeard! I guess. Let's be careful. Just then, they heard a voice. Get me out of here! Let me go! Help! Did you hear that? Yes! Someone is asking for help! The sound is coming from the ship! Let's go see! What about the pirates? They can catch us! But someone needs help! Thus, they managed to get on the ship without being seen by the pirates. Help! Can you hear me? The sound is coming from downstairs! A pirate! Hide quickly! Hey, where are you? You just asked for help? Look at that chest. I wonder what's in it. <gasps> gold! So much gold! That chest is Blackbeard's treasure. Hey, who are you? Where are you? I'm here. So it was you who asked for help? My name is Jack. Blackbeard will sell me to bird collectors. I don't want to live in a cage forever! Please save me! Save me! Sure we can help, but where did Blackbeard find you? Jack said the pirates had captured him on a tropical island where he lived. I want to be free and go back home! We'll save you, don't worry. Uh, it's locked! Where's the key? Unfortunately, Blackbeard has the key. Okay, we'll have to take you with the cage then. How are we going to do this? The pirates will see us. Hmm, I have a plan. You look like a real pirate. Let's go. Be careful, Gretel. So Hansel and Gretel managed to get off the ship without the pirates noticing. However, at that moment... Oh! Oh! No! Oops! They saw us! Run! Run that way! No, they 
will find us. Shh! Be quiet, Gretel. They couldn't find us, but they took Jack. What are we going to do? We won't give up. We promised we'd save him. But how do we get back on the ship? What if the pirates are still looking for us? I don't know. We have to find a way. Remember, we'll be trapped here if we don't read the magic word before sundown. We still have time. I think this might work for us now. Let's see if our friends can get back on the ship and save Jack the Parrot from Blackbeard. Children, you can find out when you watch the next story, The Forest Witch. <laughs>